This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance at nhliberty.org. Fighting to keep the free state free. As I prepare to retire from Congress, I'd like to suggest a few New Year's resolutions for my colleagues to consider. For the sake of liberty, peace, and prosperity, I certainly hope more members of Congress consider the strict libertarian constitutional approach to government in 2013. In just a few days, Congress will solemnly swear to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. They should read Article 1, Section A, and the Bill of Rights before taking such a serious oath. Columbia Police Search Warrant! Columbia Police Search Warrant! Most legislation violates key provisions of the Constitution in very basic ways, and if members can't bring themselves to say no in the face of pressure from the special interests, they have broken trust with their constituents and violated their oaths. Congress does not exist to serve the special interests. It exists to protect the rule of law. I also urge my colleagues to end unconstitutional wars overseas. Stop the drone strikes. Stop the covert activities and the meddling in the internal affairs of other nations. Strive to observe good faith and justice toward all nations. As George Washington admonished, we are only making more enemies, wasting lives, and bankrupting ourselves with the neoconservative interventionist mindset that endorses preemptive war that now dominates both parties. All foreign aid should end, which is blatantly unconstitutional. While it may be a relatively small part of our federal budget for many countries, it is a large part of theirs, and it creates perverse incentives for both our friends and enemies. Also wrote the Central yeah. Panel yeah. in 890. There is no way members of Congress can know or understand the political, economic, and legal and social realities in the many nations to which they send taxpayers' dollars. Congress needs to stop accumulating more debt. U.S. debt monetized by the Federal Reserve is the true threat to our national security. Revisiting the parameters of Article 1, Section 8 would be a good start. Congress should resolve to respect personal liberty and free markets. Learn more about the free market and how it regulates commerce and produces greater prosperity other than any legislation or regulation. Understand that economic freedom is freedom. Resolve not to get in the way of voluntary contracts between consenting adults. Stop bailing out failed yet politically connected companies and industries. Stop forcing people to engage in commerce when they don't want to and stop prohibiting them from buying and selling when they want to. Stop trying to legislate your ideas of fairness. Protect property rights. Protect the individual. That is enough. There are many more resolutions I would like to see my colleagues in Congress adopt, but respect for the Constitution and the oath of office should be at the core of everything members of Congress do in 2013. Thanks for calling this update. Updates will continue to be placed on this number, 888-322-1414, every morning. The written text of which can be found on the Campaign for Liberty website. Thanks for calling. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance at nhliberty.org. Now, if you were to go over to the State House in New Hampshire and say nhliberty.org, well, lots and lots of nhliberty.org members would hear you because they're all over the place at the State House. You can't swing a fist without hitting one of them. I hope you'll join them at nhliberty.org. Or maybe I should say, I hope you'll join us, because I am a member.